Well, end to end and electric flame, I guess, or post-apocalyptic um, themed. Um, yeah, just seemed like the natural thing to come out. Um, yeah, I never asked you about any of the lyrics at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. This I re- is all new to me. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I mean, I'm a... I personally like the way, like, the, uh, a vocal line will go, like the cadence, the enunciation or pronunciation. Like, I'll have that hummed out first, like on a demo, and then try to attach the correct words to that. So sometimes it, it means nothing, but I try to try to piece it together so it does have some some kind of meaning instead of it just being gobbledygook or whatever. Um, but I do tend to write about post-apocalyptic. I don't know. It's just... I don't know. It's easy. I don't really know. Um, it's just... I just write and it just happens. Um, but when you look at everything I've written, it's, there's a theme. It must be kind of sad or something. But no. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Gifted by the wind, that's a lot more optimistic. Um, I don't know. I think it's it's just about maybe coming from the, the viewpoint of the wind and just the changes of time, um, you know, landscapes changing, not in a post-apocalyptic way, but, you know, just evolution, um, and, you know, pre-apocalypse. Yeah, pre-apoc, totally, sure, pre-apocalyptic. Sudden in that one, it's about suicide I was watching uh, that 13 reason why TV show and as it was like the last episode and I was playing guitar super bummer episodes it's pretty heavy so that riff just came up and uh, yeah I don't know just kind of got it all locked in you know pretty much all the, most of the parts at least and then, like, the next morning I woke up and Chris Cornell had killed himself. So I was like, whoa, that's f- fucking weird. So it was kind of heavy, so I don't know, that song, it just lent itself to that. It was surrounded by it, so. Yeah. 